this time. Good afternoon. Hello again to everyone. Uh, I really envy that the colleagues before had such a nice uh, demo. I don't have any cloud demo with me, <laughs> so it's going to be just the PowerPoint this time. So getting back to the subject, uh, what I wanted to, to basically say today, to present to you, is the thing that, um, again, getting it starting from kind of a philosophical theme that time has changed. So uh, has the technology changed, but not necessarily our needs changed because we all in IT, we really need to keep control over the assets, data, the people accessing that. So this has not changed. However, everything around has changed. Uh, I'm, I'm quite sure that you, you could see similar um, kind of a slides many times, but just to, to keep in mind that we used to have a very controllable, uh, very controllable uh, environments, right? Like having everything at house, infrastructure, application, data, computers, even the guests, the contractors, they had to connect in, into in, intranet to the uh, DMZs, yes? But it was still everything at house, at home. And of course, we had some kind of a security technology to the outside world, and then behind that, of course, uh, bad people in the bad, bad internet, to make it a little bit uh, <laughs> sarcastic way. But that's what was, and actually this is something that we still have in our minds. We need to really take care to keep what is really important to us, the data, information, away or protected from the outside world. The only thing is that if, and this is something we all experienced for the past, past years and it's accelerating, really accelerating like a hell. You know, there's no longer one user, yes? One employee can have 10 different identities. And if you do it, you know, if you're a contractor, you, have, you can have much more, many more. Then not just a laptop or a PC, yeah? it's, it's a mobile devices, so from basically any kind of device. And of course, many, many applications. So we are not accessing a particular, say, file share in intranet, yes? But I want to access, you know, from my mobile, I want to access one application from the PC, the other one, and do it from any possible location, which means that basically it's a mess like that, mess from IT point of view, right? And to make it worse, it's all over uh, internet, as there is no way to set up, uh, you know, secure uh, fiber channel link uh, between each of us and our applications. So, what to do in the world that's completely changed in technology way, which is all cloud, because even if, you, if we say a private cloud or a public cloud or intranet, it's all cloud. Once the data are not really in your computer that you keep fully in control, it is kind of a cloud. So what to do to get the control back? And what Gemalto proposed in this respect is basically oh yeah, some statistics from uh, no later than the last year. So more or less should be still valid, the figures. It's basically, we cannot apply exactly um, all that say old school technologies, meaning like a perimeter security, which still is needed, that's true, but it doesn't stop the attacks. It's then the question of not stopping them, but just you know, postponing that fact. So what we can do, in the first place, we can control the access to the cloud-based applications, not to the cloud as such, but to particular applications. So it's like, you know, you protect accessing of me to Microsoft Office 365, or accessing, you know, Rene to uh, Salesforce. But it's not like in general accessing the cloud the same way as we protected access to intranet. It, it's really like a multi-point to multi-point thing. It can be done with certain multi-factor authentication. Gemalto proposition is uh, either a safe net authentication service, that's the name of the product, 
or the SafeNet Authentication Manager for PKI, backed by the smart cards tokens, that's a hardware plus software. But our, this is our proposition. However, as of course everybody knows, there's not only one uh, manufacturer of such solutions. And you can find the multi-factor authentication proposals from a couple of others in the market. But what is really different, and this is something that we bring to the table based on almost two decades of the experience, is the integration with the uh, application vendors or the, and, the, and the actually the cloud services providers. If you look at that, particularly on the software as a service and web applications, with those, it's basically like a plug and play system with our multi-factor authentication systems, which means it's easy to deploy. To make it more concrete, the list, and again, if we speak up the Microsoft, or the Google, or the Amazon services, we covered that. So it's a really quite extensive list of the applications we can easily secure the access to. And it's really easy to deploy that software because it's all software-based solution. But this is the access, okay? So let's assume we have now a better rate of security for the access. Still, it may happen, and most probably will happen, that somebody someday will get in to the network. And then what? And here it comes something which I believe is, is, is the main message of my presentation, is the only thing to protect the data is to encrypt it. And really, literally encrypt everything and everywhere. It doesn't matter if it's a file share, if it's a say, virtual machine, or if it's a database. Just encrypt everything. And then even if the data are leaking out, unusable. Well, sorry for that. So, encrypting. That's the proposal and the portfolio of the products uh, we bring to the market. It's basically, we can encrypt the data, be that files or the file shares, be entire databases, right? Uh, we can encrypt entire applications. We can encrypt the virtual environments. If the data are to be sent between different locations, uh, encryption on a layer two level and tokenization of the data in any kind of databases. So it's a very, say, complex matrix which offers you the possibility to encrypt any kind of data or any part of the, say, data storages. Like we talk about databases, you may encrypt records or the by verticals or the entire database as a one big, big file. The same for the virtual machines, right, which is very important in, a, say, cloud environments. And again, as I was saying with the authentication, from what I was able to investigate, also with the, uh, and most important to you, with the external, uh, say, agencies, yes, uh, it's basically the portfolio that we bring in is the most versatile encryption portfolio on the market right now. But again, it's not about that. It's good, yes, to be number one in that. But again, this is the ecosystem that all those implementations took place, that they are proven and checked. And we have the integration guides ready for any of those from the list. So again, you can easily deploy it with the existing, um, say, uh, with the existing uh, cloud providers or the application providers, yes, like the, with, the, with the Google, Amazon, Microsoft. So, this is only a half step to get back the control. Fantastic, it's all encrypted, great, but what is really giving the control back to your hands is to have the encryption keys and ability to control them, manage them, yes, to keep them. So even though we have a cloud somewhere physically, the data are out there, they are encrypted, great, have the success, but to be really sure that it's only us that can read the data, encryption keys again. 
And again, what we propose is, uh, yes, as I said, and, uh, keep the keys and control them. Again, products, SafeNet Key Secure to manage the key lifecycle and manage the keys. And the real, you know, like a metal box to keep the, <laughs> to keep the, to keep the keys is the hardware security model. That's, you can, you know, compare it one to one to an iron box, to the safe. So that's what we bring. And if we speak about the key management and the HSM, that's definitely two players on the market. <laughs> and then, and we are leading in an enterprise uh, HSM, for sure. And again, least but not uh, last but not least, this way around, integration for the key secure and for the HSM. It's a huge variety. The product has been proven to be, uh, you know, integrable with most of the of the environments uh, we can find right now. And it's not only yes, I'm talking about the cloud, but the HSM might be needed in any any space that you encrypt the data and want to keep keys. Yes, it is currently used already in Slovak Republic by a few banks and enterprises. That's what I was mentioning at the at my morning presentation. So that's what we bring as the answer to this un cloud uncertainty. The only way to get back this notion of control that we keep the data secure and we control it is to control the access, which is better than the regular one. Still, the most important is to encrypt the data and to really be sure that data, encrypted data secure is to keep the control over the encryption keys. And that's basically the proposal behind. And the entire set of products behind. You can find more. I have some brochures on, on the stand. I'm, I'm open to discuss any time uh, in this afternoon. In any case, you can, you can check the Gemalta web pages for, uh, for any more data to find out. So what you gain is the control, you're strengthening the security, and very important because this is something that is uh, very much an issue today, is the compliance, yes? I'm quite sure that you recognize those fantastic uh, acronyms, but this is all we should be worried about, especially GDPR, because this is more technical well, it is legal, but it's kind of technical. From next year on, there's 100% responsibility for you know data going out is on uh, on us, on our organizations. Yes. So if you are the IT department of the bank, you have a problems if something is out. So for this one, we provide uh, products: the multi-factor authentication and encryption. And, and that's, the, that's the message that I want to pass. So thank you very much for that. If any questions, I'm available in the uh, hall. Thank you very much.